I, it's just amazing. about impossible to, to forecast. Right, to, right. You know, I mean, we want best for what's, yeah, yeah, that's certainly, I think. It's not just, you know. We were looking at, you know, some tariffs that were 12%. Uh, if you put on the additional 25% tariffs that are, are put on there now, I mean, we've, you know, essentially tripled our, our tariffs for for U.S. beef into 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 that market, and so that is something that we're going to have to, you know, it's going to be a challenge for our market. If you lose that market share, it takes a while to regain that, and we've seen that, you know, we were very successful, I think, just in being only in the Chinese market for beef over the last year to 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 see that tremendous amount of gain in that short period of time. Um, so we know that the the probability is there that we can accomplish that, but the longer you're out of that market, the more difficult it is going to be to, to, you know, to regain or establish your, that market. You know, as you look over the next five years, there's potentially some numbers that have been thrown around of $400 million in, you know, potential sales uh, of, of of, of meat products uh, into the country and so we see that as a, a tremendous opportunity to, to um, share you know a, a very high quality product with consumers that I think will thoroughly enjoy it.